Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Greedy Craft, where today we're going to be working our way to the Twilight Forest. Alright, so just been out doing a bit of hunting, and uh, got a gold helmet, but unfortunately can't wear a gold helmet. And it seems like gold helmets have more armor and better headshot protection than iron, so that's changed a little bit. I uh, got a bunch of... I got a ball of fur. Dropped by live cats. I dropped by live cats. Yep, I didn't kill a cat. And spectral wrappings from a shade thing. But I was doing a little bit of mining and thought I'd take a peek at the quests. And we can get a excavate modifier to let us kind of vein mine. Um, if I remember where all my stuff is. If we build a Tinker Smeltery controller. And there was a bunch of uh, smeltery bricks, or seared bricks, in one of the chests near that giant smeltery that we can't use. Uh, someone mentioned in the comments that apparently I can craft a pattern, and that would enable me, or unlock the smeltery, to be used. So we might have a look at that, because I think that's really going to help the situation. But if we just grab some of these seared bricks, and take a look at the quests, um, if we come over here, see my little tinker workshop, craft the controller. So if we make this, we're going to get an excavate modifier, as well as what looks like all the stuff to build a smeltery. But um, yeah, we, we, we don't need that, we'll just use this massive one. Um, so let's whip up one of these guys. Quest completed. Does that mean we can now use this one? Uh, we need to break that. Still can't use this guy. I might try breaking and replacing. Because it seems odd. Um, I do wonder if maybe this one just isn't formed correctly. Uh, because when I was editing the footage, I actually think that the thing I didn't have the high enough level to use was this redstone paste. Um, not the not the multi block itself. So I just wonder if this multi block isn't constructed properly. It'd be a pain because it's massive, but we'll we'll find out. So quest rewards. Let's grab this excavate modifier as well as oh, we got a storage upgrade for some storage drawers. Ah, oh, it's all on the ground. Um, let's just put some of this stuff. <laughs> In here, uh, yeah, this is all like smeltery building things. I might just build a small smeltery and just see if it works and see if that's the problem we were having. Uh, but this excavate modifier, we definitely want to chuck that on our stone pickaxe. Because I'm pretty sure it'll stay there. And actually, how do we make more of them? Oh, it's just gears. That's really easy. Oh, easy. Could have made one a while ago. So somewhere is a tool station. Let's check on an excavate modifier. Nice. Let's excavate one out of five. So this will excavate a probably small area. And I don't want to test it on anything I want to keep. We'll, we'll check it out in a minute. But these are the quests. Like a giant furnace. We don't really need a giant furnace. A smeltery accelerator. Obtain the smeltery accelerator. Simply put it on top of the smeltery controller to speed up the smeltery. Plate of unsealing. Tinker's evolution. Resistance modifiers. A rare loot crate. Now we get all sorts of stuff. Um, a definitely very generous. Maybe too generous with the loot in this pack. Um, so I'm just going to whip up a quick small smeltery, and we'll just see if it would work. So we can access it. So unfortunately it seems like it's just this smeltery isn't constructed properly. And there we go once I put these bricks in.
And hey, look. So this one works, so I'm not sure why this big one doesn't work. Must just be constructed. Uh, are you allowed a torch inside a smeltery? <laughs> Alright, I think that might have been the problem. And yes, look, it's already working. Well, that's, uh, yeah. Okay. Good to know. So the reason that the smeltery wasn't working was just because there was a torch inside it. Nice. All right. Well, yeah, we don't need this anymore. Um, if we found some gold, should probably have over here. And yeah, we need to go check out a death over there as well. But maybe with a sword upgrade, um, things will work a bit better. We're going to have some gold for making some casts, um, and maybe some iron. We could make steel pickaxe. No, nah, let's not do that. And it's broke my legs. That's fine. Okay, so we put this gold in here. Um, and I guess we'll just make some new new patterns since there's so many blank patterns sitting over here. Uh, not the pattern chest, the... Wait, is there no stencil table? Stencil table. So there's new textures. So we can make... Uh, just a wooden pickaxe head, and a wooden sword blade, and a wooden one of them. And I think we should have enough casts. That these should all work. I think it's two ingots per, and we've got six ingots in there. Let's just make sure. Yes. Cool. And I need some food. Hey, food. This is such an over-the-top... Take a smeltery. It's awesome. There we go. Alright, so we want iron pickaxe head, iron sword blade, and some iron sharpening kits. And we get an iron pickaxe head. And we get an iron sword blade. It's gonna take the damage up to seven. And do we keep our we kept excavate. Cool. And then we probably don't need these pickaxes because we can just make a bunch of sharpening kits. And that'll be cool. All right, time to take on this uh, this battle tower again. Now, uh, I might stick in this view instead of the other view, because I have found it's hard to tell how close you are to stuff. I'm sure it's just a matter of um, practice, uh, getting used to that third-person view, but might fare a bit better handling it this way, and we probably want to remove, remove that waypoint. So I think maybe last time is somebody fell down from up the top, like what's potentially happening up there. Yeah, here we go. We got a lot of stuff. Now let's get rid of these spawners. Nice. And junk. I mean, I don't think I have sugar cane yet, but uh, oh, that's junk. I struggle for bag space. Yep. Well, that poison's definitely nastier. Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh. What are you looking at? All right. Let's try this again. Oh dear. Oh, yep. A little bit sick because I ate uh, people. We got 12 levels. I don't think there's anything we can actually get. So what I think happens, the higher your mining level, it must give you bonus attack speed. 
uh, as you level these things up. So toughness is building. We need to be level 21 before we can get that, but I think that's how that works. So if we just try and not die, I think some toughness could help. And stone buttons, hmm. That loot. Those creepy spiders. Ah oh dear. Oh dear, no, 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 no. I think we need some better gear. Yeah, we need some better gear. <laughs> as fun as this is. I mean, we've almost got to level up though. Like, if we just kill. Let me just kill a little something else. And if we were to block off those holes in the roof. So yeah, stuff falling down from the ceiling is a bad sign. Oh, we gotta level up. Alright. Uh, let's go with health or toughness. Probably toughness because I think building's useful. And any good loot? Something. Uh, I don't have my bag of unknown on me. That was close. Oh, I didn't even bring it with me. Whoops. That's a bad idea. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there's something going on there. Oh, he's like a champion, dude. Knowledge, experience, so... Oh. Was that knowledge essence and got right click to... Uh, there wasn't much experience. We got a little bit. Oh dear, yeah, cool looking sword. No, I don't think we like eating bread anymore. Alright, it might be time to get out of here. We need some better food. Alright, I'll pop back to the village and uh, we'll have a look through the quest book and see where we're heading next. And we'll come back to this tower at another stage. Alright, this might pay to go through some of this loot stuff we got. I uh, must have got a loot bag fighting something, but we found this warp delivery and this loot crate ticket uh, a while back. Ah, oh, last episode. So, we got a emoji fruit. It gives you a health boost. Alright. Uh, pink rune, some glasses, interesting. And lapis. Ooh, that was a health, ah, oh, it's a temporary health boost. Well, I shouldn't have eaten that right now. Used to tame or lure. Uh, okay. Interesting. Emeritic crystals. We got a suspicious stew. Nice. Um, we also got the loot crate ticket. So loot crate. An advanced blue connector from Xnet. I haven't touched Xnet. So we might have a look at that. Warp delivery orders. All right, and we actually got a quest reward for getting warp delivery orders as well. Oh, heart dust, gold coin, a key. All right, interesting. I'm going to need another junk chest. Okay, and then if we look at our quest rewards, it looks like yes. So we got this for getting warp delivery orders out of a loot chest. We get two warp delivery things and a loot crate which gave us sulfur and some experience which we're going to spend on attack because this will also let us use a bow as well 
So, our other warp delivery orders, let's do these outside. Um, I don't have that item on me. The unknown sack thing. Oh man, where did I leave that? Ah, that'll be in that chest by the smeltery. So we've got a capacitor for Ender IO. Nice. Potion of regeneration. A probably must be an abyssal craft thing. A summoning pendulum. A slime cube. And <laughs> one of them was dark steel. Because we got the quest for it. And there must have been quartz in one of them as well. Nice. Oh man, there's I think there's too many loot things. So we got a diamond sword we probably can't use. We got redstone, nice. Got a wooden mob farm. Now actually this looks interesting, this mod. Generates loot every 150 seconds. Cannot farm hostile mob. Lasso durability loss. So lasso durability loss. Insert a lasso to activate. Ah, uh, okay. Can we just make one? Right click on a mob to capture. Aha! That's interesting. Oh, so we have to make a lead. I see, and then we can chuck that inside this, and there's a chance that it will lose durability. Cool. Tiny mob farm. What else is in that mod? Cannot farm hostile mobs. Okay. Ah, uh, but maybe these other ones can. Because these might be higher tier ones that are that are locked. McDonald, uh, what? Wait, what? A McDonkey Deluxe combo, filled with delicious food. Ooh. All right, that was actually filled with delicious food. So looking at the, there seems to be some sort of progression because we can't get into blood magic until we do astral sorcery. Astral Sorcery, we seem to be able to just start with it. Uh, but looking at the the main quest line, it talks about going to the nether. And it says use the twilight shield before you can go to the nether safely. And the twilight shield requires a bunch of stuff from the twilight forest. So it seems like the progression kind of goes twilight forest and then the nether. The Twilight Forest, we need to get a Twilight Gem, which needs Salus Mundus from Thorncraft, as well as a Mana Diamond, which, to be honest, is not hard to get because we've already got a Batania set up uh, for making mana sitting over somewhere in the village. So we could get the Harvest Moon is rising. Does this mean anything? Like, what does the Harvest Moon rising mean? Does it mean crops grow faster? Well, it actually looks like that's what might be happening. So in terms of these industrial age quests, looks like it requires us to get a bunch of stuff we actually already have, and we'll get a bunch of quest rewards from this, um, because all of this stuff, we actually had one of those hardened upgrade kits, but I used it. All right, we completed another challenge. Five challenges we get loot crate tickets. Okay, two loot crates, another potato turret, a flare. Ammo for the flare gun. I don't think we need a flare gun. So the first quest was for an aqueous accumulator. Done. Next quest was for a pulverizer. Done. An induction smelter? I don't think we had one of them. But we do have this. Oh, that didn't rotate the way I wanted it. Crescent still just tin and iron? Yes, it is. Don't have any tin on us. Alright, we need to get a house that's not. It's not all of our stuff all over the show. 
because all of this stuff is too far away. All right, and then we got a bunch of... There's just too many loot crates. We got a loot crate out of a loot crate, mate. Get two loot crates. Stainless steel ingot. Oh no, stuff's on the ground. Looks like it's used in modular machinery. Oh, it's used for the building gadget. I oh, can make a building gadget now. Have we finally finished unlocking loot crates? No, because we got we got extra loot crates. Avoid crystal. And a treasure chest. Loot crates inside of loot crates. It's actually ridiculous. Yeah, right. Having all of our stuff all over the show is. Oh, we got oh, it's an empty map. I thought it was a treasure map. Uh, it's really annoying. So let's try one of these prefab houses and somewhere close to where we are. I mean, this is probably not a bad spot right here uh, because this should do like all the terraforming for us. So a couple of different options we've got. I mean, that Akaya house or Acacia house looks quite cool. The earthen house, mm. jungle house. I mean, then we've got to climb a ladder all the time. What does this one look like? It's big. Yeah, I think that looks all right. Um, so I was aiming there. Build. <laughs> nice. Actually, that wasn't too bad. There's a little bit of tidying up to do. But I mean, this leads down to the river anyway, so that worked out really well. And while well, we got a lot of sticks. Yeah, we got a nice room up here. We have, oh, we got like an area down here. Oh, that's nice. And a bunch of chests for storing our junk. All right, I'm gonna move all of our stuff into this building, including all the machines, and we'll be back. All right, <laughs> got it. Got it all set up. Got it all set up. And actually, it looks like we need to claim a little bit more land. Yeah. Um, for some reason, I thought you could open iron chests if they were directly under the machine, but you couldn't. So I couldn't quite recess them into the wall. But uh, just these machines do output out an item duct, and I just need to change that to that. You should export that pulverized gold. There we go. And just processing a bit of that, and I'm actually out of iron because I'm gonna craft one of these XP blocks so we can store our XP. Now, because we've got a bit, and actually, I should probably spend some of it on some levels. And I guess we'll keep going with damage or advancement made attack. Does that mean we can use our ridiculous sword now? No. Not yet. Soon. But I'm just going to go quickly do some mining. And yeah. Get a bit of ore to process and then we'll come back. Oh, and set up a little bit of a farm here. Yeah, still a lot of tidying up to do. But yeah, coming along okay. Coming along okay. Now I'm probably going to demolish this house here. Because it's, uh, it's pretty small. And yeah. It's blocking my view of the massive smeltery. Alright, back up to some mining. Um, that looks like a bunch of copper ore. That looks like a giant copper ore vein. I'm going to say that is a giant copper ore vein. <gasps> well, that was close. I... You know, I had a thought in my head that that was a bad idea. But yeah, it looks like we've got one of the massive copper veins. I think, so there must be that giant ore spawn mod in the pack that occasionally spawns giant, giant ore veins. 
but now I'm stuck down here. Alright, so we got a bunch of ores processing. I just ended up putting a chest on top of these guys because they can auto import from a chest. So yeah, getting a bit of stuff processing, mostly copper. I'm gonna have plenty of copper. I think iron might be the next thing we want. So something like this uh, with these and an emerald. Nice. Yeah, we can shift right click on this guy. Do store experience. Perfect. So, to get to the Twilight Forest, oh, to get more quest rewards. Ah, from the Thorncraft thing. And. I mean, sure, we got a name tag. Wow. But to get to the Twilight Forest, we need this key to the Twilight Forest, which is this Twilight Gem. Which is just some saplings. Was it specifically finger lime? Oh no, it looks like it can be any any sapling. That's cool. Uh, so Salus Mundus. Three different beast crystals, so we'll go and find them. And a mana diamond. And the mana diamond shouldn't be too bad. We just grab a diamond. Um, we'll grab some coal. Head over to the, and we can't sleep because it's a blood moon. All right, now we find that Britannia area. Oh dear. Easy. Um, we find that Britannia area. Okay, maybe this blood moon's a little bit more intense. Hey, an iron golem. Find that Britannia area and we should be able to get enough mana to make a mana diamond. Shouldn't be too bad. So we've already got an endo flame. There's a wand of the forest in here. So we... you're already pointing. Nice. Um, so if we just drop a couple of coal. You're not gonna... Oh wait, do we not know what a mana diamond is? No, we do. You... Absorb coal? <laughs> I notice there is also a mana tilt it underneath the Britannia <laughs> flowers. Which I think the uh, author of Britannia is not a fan of. And we just have to wait until we get enough mana to convert this guy. Which, looking at this, that might that might be a while. Mana diamond takes that much mana. Um, I don't know how much is in this pool. Oh, nice. Hey, oh, immunity to poison. Wait, how do we... Oh, that's a bauble. Oh, mate. Nice, so now we're immune to poison. Oh, it's going to take ages to fill up. Alright, that's not going to be as simple as I thought. We also need the Salus Mundus, which means... I need to find a couple of those crystals. Um, if we chunk load this area, uh, we can put down a crafting table. Uh, I don't really have the coal for that. There we go. And that guy will just sit there and make some mana. And I'll just go back to the mine, wherever that was, and we'll tr try and get a couple of those V or Vs crystals. And hopefully we can make some Salus Mundus. Or at least try and get the portal to the Twilight Forest, forest opened. Alright, plenty of these crystals around the place. So that's cool. Definitely got more than enough. I uh, should, yeah, actually almost be enough to make a decent start in Thorncraft if we wanted to. Which we might, because there are a few quite powerful items that might come in handy. Especially like the spell casting. Um, considering how tough some of these mobs seem to be. 
Right, so if we made a bowl, I think we also needed flint, which we may not have anywhere. Uh, can we craft flint? We can if we had some gravel, which I may not. Should get us some flint. So I think it was flint. Uh, we need some redstone. And three different crystals, right? And a bowl. It gets us one, we needed two. Ooh. Server gave you first steps, research, and requisites. So I think we need a couple of these. Well, let's get a few. It's the two Salus Munis we need for that. Floral fertilizer was actually in a chest. It's just that mana diamond we're waiting on. Um, I was processing some logs into charcoal. Nice. Ah. Oh. And I can't make charcoal blocks, apparently. Interesting. Here we go. Right, so we probably don't have enough mana to... Oh, we do. Well, if that went in there. Perfect. And we had a couple of floral essence in here. And that should be enough. So we can hopefully craft that into this dude. Nice. A twilight gem. Key to the twilight forest. I'm going to assume that it's still the same as the old twilight forest recipe. We you grab some water, um, where would we want... I mean, this is kind of a magical area. We can always move the portal if we want to. Oh, we need flowers as well. Uh, yeah, that'll be right. Let me put these flowers around this guy. We might need full flowers the whole way around. And generally I think it has to be Minecraft flowers as opposed to like these fancy ones. And hey, check this in. Nice. Portal to the Twilight Forest. Let's let's take a peek. Ooh, it's 200 FPS. Nice. Definitely not going to be that once there's actually things here. Oh, and I see that the difficulty was just slightly increased. Changed from 0 to 20. Well, oh dear. <laughs> I don't know if I was actually ready for that. Maybe this was a mistake because now all mobs are going to be harder. I think this means do more damage, have more health generally be more of a nuisance to deal with. But I'm hoping that uh, there's going to be some some nice gear for us to get in the Twilight Forest. Like especially from like this maze. Well, Hedge Spider's got creepy. Nice. And hey, not particularly useful things. Angry. Oh, 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 those guys are fast. Is that just a little bit of lag, or are they actually really, really fast? More junk. More junk. I just heard a monster box open. It looks like skeletons. Oh dear. Yep, that's skeletons. <laughs> oh, they're definitely harder. Oh no, oh no. Up. You have become a zombie. What do you mean I've become a zombie? Am I actually a zombie? Or did it make a copy of me over there that's a zombie? 
Well, this is going well. Yep, we're definitely ready for the Twilight Forest. Definitely didn't need to prepare before coming here. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. If we just take them on one at a time. Right. I think we need to level up our defense so that we can wear some diamond armor. Maybe work on some enchants as well. Although we can't mine obsidian, so... Yeah, that's an issue. What was that? A rare loot bag. Alright, give me some good. Iron chest plate. Well, thanks. Thanks a bunch. Yeah, okay, they're not too bad when they don't corner you. Alright guys, we've uh, made it to the Twilight Forest, which has increased the game difficulty by 20. Definitely not 20 times, but uh, yeah, that probably wasn't probably wasn't the best call, because our armor is certainly not up to scratch. Uh, since I'm uh, seeming to struggle a little bit just on the normal difficulty. But hey, we're in the Twilight Forest now. Should hopefully be able to get some cool loot and more powerful stuff, and we might even dig into a little bit of Thorncraft next time. Uh, to give ourselves a, a little bit of an advantage. But hey, it's been Classic Duff. You've been watching the episode. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.